Hey friends, Karen Basket DIYer here. Welcome back for another crazy fun, who knows how it's gonna go, Tumblr tutorial with me. If you're new here, welcome. I drop Tumblr tutorials every Sunday and Thursday at 6 a.m., but keep in mind that my Tumblr tutorial drop schedule may change very soon. Um, if you're a regular, thanks for coming back. Guys, this tutorial, uh, was really crazy. It went south a couple of times, but I rescued it. I do not believe in stripping tumblers. I do believe in pushing through and making the best of it. So anyways, um, this one is kind of cool. It says, cowboy take me away, cowhide glitter, foils, all the fun things. It's not 100% finished here. I still need to put bright tone layers over my vinyl. You'll see why in the end. But anyways, just stay tuned, follow along, and I will walk you through the steps and show you how I created this one. This is another one of those super cute prints from Donkey Craft Vinyl. I'm just gonna go ahead and fit it to my tumbler. I still need to go prep my tumbler. I just was messing around with it and decided to go ahead and show you guys. I am going to try to line up this corner and this corner so I don't lose much of my pattern. I wanna keep as much as possible. I'm gonna take a pen and I'm gonna mark the inside of this. Now then I'm gonna go ahead and go scrub and prep this tumbler, remove the little thing off the bottom. Um, just to remove that factory coating. If you're unsure how to do that, I do have a tumbler prep video. I'll link that for you in the description below. I like to just remove my vinyl from the backing and lay it out and then grab my window cleaner and I give it a good little spritz rub it all over the tumbler, and then I spritz the actual vinyl backing just a little bit. And then I very easily can apply the vinyl to the tumbler. If it's not placed correctly, I can easily remove it. That's the great thing about using the but window cleaner. You always cleaner. wanna make sure that that um, window cleaner is really dried out. And then I just like to go back over it and press out any bubbles that might be trapped under there. Um, and it, they work out really easily, but my vinyl no longer shifts around and I just love applying it that way. So now I'm just gonna move on. Okay, so I'm gonna use this Dollar Store brush. It's a little wet and wild brush from Dollar Tree. And these are the glitters and flippin' awesome paints that I'm gonna be using on this tumbler. As you can see, I started with that mermaid green. Doesn't matter which color you start with, or you may choose to just do one color. Um, in the end, I kind of mentioned that I regretted using two colors at one point, but yeah, you could just totally get away with one color. Now I'm moved on to that pink pizzazz, and then I'm gonna allow these to dry for four hours. Alrighty, my paints are nice and dry, and so now I'm just using glitter glue, which is from the Crystal Light Store as well, to actually apply my glitter. You can see here, that sea glass is so beautiful. It's got a lot of fine glitter in it. It's a chunky fine mix from Maker Flow. Um, I really love their glitters. It's some of the first glitters that I ever got started using and just really love them. And it's just really convenient to order glitter whenever I order tumblers because that's mostly where I get my tumblers as well. Okay, I am going to set this aside for just a little bit. Run Okay, so it's actually been about an hour. I decided to go ahead and let that turquoise glitter dry really well or well enough to smush down. So I'm gonna go ahead and smush it for you. If you haven't seen this before, it simply involves parchment paper. And you just take your tumbler. This is after one hour of dry time, by the way. And you roll it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and let this finish drying a little bit longer and then I will dust off all the excess and apply my pink. I just didn't want to contaminate my pink glitter with all this extra. 
All right, so here I'm just doing the exact same thing on the pink side, using my glitter glue to apply that Flamingo glitter. Again, it's a chunky mix, lots of fine glitter in there. It's super sparkly and um, Maker Flow glitter that I love so much making sure I get good coverage all over. And then I will allow this to dry for about an hour and then I will smush it down just the same way as I did the turquoise. Just roll it in parchment paper and smush, smush, smush. This flattens out your glitter so that you can then apply glitter glue all over it like I'm doing here to seal up all the glitter to prevent it shifting and moving whenever you do bright tone layers. But this also helps you achieve smoother bright tone layers faster. Okay, I know that I usually show you smushing from down on eye level, but um, I wanna show you something else. Smushing still, this has now been dry um, for about an hour, all of this, the glitter glue. So it's time to smush it down really, really well. And that just helps, you know, when it comes to applying your bright tone lighter. I know I tell you this every time, but if this is your first time here, definitely pay attention to this step. Okay, so I recently found these brayers um, on Amazon. It was a two pack, really inexpensive. And this is the first time I'm gonna be using them. So um, hopefully they work well. I can't imagine that they won't. But I'm just gonna wrap my tumbler in parchment paper. And I'm going to just smush it like normal. Same as I was doing before, just applying firm pressure on a hard surface to pack down that glitter. And now then I'm just gonna do it all over again, but this time I'm gonna use the brayer and um, keeping it in that parchment paper to protect it and using the roller brayer um, to really get that glitter packed down. I'm gonna switch to the wider one because I keep slipping off. Much better. I'll link this for you, this um, two pack in the description below so you guys can snag this little set. I'm gonna go ahead and apply one more layer of glitter glue to this just to help seal everything up. Got a couple of strays there. And after that's dry, then I'll be able to move on to my bright tone layers. I'm sorry, I completely forgot to record it, but this is after one layer of bright tone. I allowed four hours to dry and then moved okay, on. Okay, I hope you guys are not terribly tired of seeing me use foils, but I really am loving these. They're easy. They just make a really nice impact. And so I'm using them. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna put a little zigzaggy line, kind of wiggly line down this. Here, 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 and around the bottom. I'm gonna start on the middle one though, I believe. So I'm just reaching in and grabbing chunks of foils and just blotting it all over where I applied my stick glue. Um, it sticks to it really, really well. So I just went all up and down my seams. I then just allowed it to dry for about an hour or so and then moved on to my layers of bright tone. You know, everyone always asks, how many layers of bright tone did it take? Well, you have to be your own judge until you have a smooth enough surface to be able to apply your vinyl or whatever you're gonna be putting over it. You may have to do a level sand and then a couple more layers. It's just depends on how it goes for you. So I keep forgetting to tell you guys this. Um, so I'm telling you right now while I'm thinking about it. The inspiration for this tumbler, this cowhide tumbler, totally comes from the three longhorns that are on the farm that we just recently bought and are flipping um, flipping to live in. But if you haven't seen them, here's a picture. If you haven't followed our Flipping the Farm vlog yet, you totally should. Um, you'll see the longhorns in the background every now and then. Um, better do it before they're gone because the owner is taking them off the property soon. But anyways, um, yeah, that's the inspiration from this. I also grew up on a farm and have always loved cowhide, but just after being around those longhorns so much lately, I was like, I totally have to do a cowhide tumbler. So anyways, just wanted to let you know that. 
All right, and so this is where the Tumblr started to go south a little bit. I cut out the phrase, hide your crazy and start acting like a lady. You probably know that song, it's super cute. Um, I just thought this would be a really cute phrase for the Tumblr. I did it, an offset for it. Um, I used really cute sparkly silver vinyl and white vinyl for this and I got it applied to the Tumblr. No problem, with ease, all was great, but I was really not loving this combination. Like the offset with that silver, it just wasn't doing anything for me. I did push through and I did about three layers of bright tone. You know, you allow four hours of dry time between each layer. I spent a lot of time on this tumbler. You, at this point, may be loving it. You may think it's great. If you don't, it's not gonna hurt my feelings because look what happened next. Okay, you guys, I am not loving this tumbler. I actually hate it. I think it looks awful. I added the wording. I think that just ruined it. So I have an idea. Um, look what I'm doing peeling my vinyl off. I have probably two, maybe three layers of bright tone on this tumbler already over this lettering, but as you can see, I was able to like dig it out. Um, that's why it's important to put quite a few layers of bright tone on so you can't do this. But um, yeah, just gonna take all this off and then move forward and show you my new idea. Once I got all that vinyl off, I did a level sand on the whole entire tumbler, especially where I had removed the vinyl. I just really wanted to try to smooth that out. And then I added three more layers of bright tones. So again, quite a bit more time on this tumbler, but I have a whole new idea for it. So just wait. Okay, you guys, I know you're probably thinking I am so stinking crazy at this point because I am spending so much time on this tumbler, but I want it to look right and I want to love it. So I grabbed that Elmer's stick glue again and my foil flakes, and I just did sort of a rustic-y, um, I did not cover that whole area with glue. I just am streaking it in patchy areas, going for a very distressed rustic look here. Just blotching that foil on there, as you see. Um, <laughs> doesn't take a whole lot of effort. You just smudge your glue on and blot your foil flakes on. So now that I have all these foil flakes on, I'm just kind of picking off some of the bigger chunks, but I'm gonna allow this to dry for about an hour. Guys, do you know how hard it is to work with a splinted finger, by the way? Check out the week four flipping the farm vlog if you wanna know what happened. This is all nice and dry now, and I've shown you before what a messy job this is to remove all these foils. Um, it's snowing outside, so I don't plan on going out to do this, so I'm just gonna gently try to knock off what I can with this chip brush. Um, just going for a pretty distressed look here. It's already so much better than it was before. I just really was not pleased with how my wording looked on there and how um, I, I'm regretting that I used two different color glitters. If I would have just stuck with one color glitter, um, the wording probably would have looked just fine. But, you know, this is how we learn. Just make the mistakes and move forward. It's pretty cool looking, actually. So I'm just gonna get um, a paper towel, I think, and get over the trash can and wipe all the rest of this off really gently. And then I can move on with um, glitter glue, most likely to seal all that up. You know, I describe this type of tumbler as crazy fun. Who knows how it's gonna go, but um, overall, I'm really happy I decided to go ahead and pull 
the um, lettering off because it just really was not doing anything for me. I, was, I would look at it and be like, I hate it. So sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do to make things work. And I don't believe in stripping tumblers. If you have watched a number of my videos, you will know that by now. Um, I always find a way to get around stripping a tumbler by doing something like this, changing up my design or whatnot. But yeah, I, I do not strip tumblers. So now I'm just gonna allow this to dry for um, two hours and then I will be able to move on to my bright tone layers. So I ended up putting about four layers of bright tone on and I was calling it quits. I was like, okay, I'm done with this tumbler. I'm just leaving it at as is, no saying, no phrase, nothing on it because it was really pretty. But then I decided it really needed another addition. So I went with this phrase, cowboy take me away. Um, okay, you guys, I am absolutely loving this tumbler now. It's super cute. I really love how the glitter sparkles and shines through that distressed foil. Um, you know, it ended up coming together really well. I think the cowhide vinyl and the glitter and the foils are all just the perfect combo. I still need to put layers of bright tone over my vinyl. I was just running out of time and really wanted to get this Tumblr tutorial out to you. Um, I hope that you have found a little bit of inspiration in this one, even if it is just something as small as push through, don't give up, keep on keeping on. So anyways, be sure to check the links in the description below, um, coupon codes, discount codes, fun things like that. And I hope that you will like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think about this one. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.